Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com. Thank you for joining me today. In this video, we're going to be making this pretty handmade card with a Time for Tea bundle that comes with the stamp set and the Spot of Tea beautiful framelits uh, for 10% off if you buy them as a bundle. And it can make some beautiful cards and gifts. And today we're going to be just putting this one together. I've already done some of the elements so that it won't take up too much time. So I've cut this for the card base in Calypso Coral at five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm going to fold it and then take my bone folder and give it a good crease on that fold. Okay, so that's ready to go. In that suite of products, you'll also find this beautiful, this is the Tea Room Specialty Paper. Had to double check on the name. And it's got some beautiful colors and floral prints. And so we're just going to use some snail adhesive and center that on the card front. And then we're going to set it aside and do some stamping. Now, I'm going to bring in my Stamparatus, the stamp positioning tool that does all sorts of cool things. And I'm going to use my stamp case to support this side over here. And I've already cut the largest of the medallions of the Spot of Tea framelits in Very Vanilla. And I've taken the sentiment, you fill my cup with happiness, and I placed it on the scallop circle where I wanted to stamp it, and then I picked it up with the one plate of the Stamparatus, and I'm going to use some Coastal Cabana ink to ink up this sentiment. Now sometimes you'll get a little bit of ink on your um, plate and you can clean that off with a wet wipe or our Simply Chamois to make sure you don't get any on your project. And so I'm just gonna press down there and lift that up. Now, I'll go ahead and clean this stamp. And I'm going to put a little sprig of foliage up here at the top. And so I, it's two stamp stamping, so I'm going to use this other plate in case I wanted to make several cards. I can go ahead and leave this in position and then just position my scallop circle where I need to. And I have this, which is the solid image of the leaf little branch there. And I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to bring over my plate, pick it up. And the magnet is holding that in place. And so let's get Old Olive ink. Okay, and something else that I do, when I do two-step stamping, I don't want the solid image as dark as the outline image is going to be. So I'm gonna clean my plate here. And then I'm going to take a sheet of scratch paper and stamp off. Okay, get some of that ink off of that foliage, and then I'm going to press it down, and there it is. Now, I want to put the outline stamp on, so I'm going to line it up over top, and I'm going to bring my plate down, pick it up, and then I'm going to use Old Olive ink again, but this time I'm not going to stamp off or blot it off with my scrap paper. And so I'm gonna go over top, press, and there you have it, okay? So you can see a difference between the first color and then the second color, which put the detail on those leaves. Okay, so now I've already pre-cut, stamped and cut, and did it the same way with Calypso Coral. I stamped off first, and then put the outline image on top, full strength. And I've got a Stampin' Dimensional on the back. And I'm just going to center it right there. And now we can put our Stamparatus away. I'm gonna 
clean this off. And we can finish our card. Now I've also stamped and die cut this pretty little teacup in Calypso Coral. And I want to position it there. But you know what? First, I'm going to get this on the card before I put that down to make sure I have it at just the right placement. And I'm going to put a little bit of the coordinating ribbon. It's just beautiful. It's like rose gold metallic edging on Coastal Cabana ribbon, one eighth of an inch wide. It comes in a dual pack with some very vanilla ribbon with the same metallic edging and it is just beautiful. So I like to do this ribbon treatment underneath my images. It's just a little different than a bow and adds that same feel, that ribbon feel. Okay, so I'm gonna put that over top and this is going to go here and we're gonna be done. Okay, oops, oh, that's a boo-boo. <laughs> a little glue down and I'm gonna call that good. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and place that. I didn't plan for that, guys. <laughs> but you know, it happens. So, there's a fix. And there we go. Note to self, don't put adhesive down. Put it, don't put it on your project. Put it off your project, right? <laughs> Okay, yep, everything can be fixed. Do this, and now it's good to go. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Visit my website at inkandinspirations.com, and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.